What's up everybody, Silver Eagle Gaming here with another gameplay video for you. In this video, this will be Thrillville. The very first one, not Thrillville off the rails as you can see. I will be doing Thrillville off the rails after I finish this game. And let's get into it. Anybody home? It's me, Uncle Mortimer. I've been looking at those roller coaster designs you sent, and I just went through the roof. Your enthusiasm has really paid off. Listen, kiddo, I want you to help run Thrillville. Now, fun parks are serious business. Making money, building rides, and keeping customers happy can make your head spin. But don't worry, with my experience and your imagination, I'm sure we'll have a nice, smooth ride. <laughs> Ooh, I have so much to show you. Now, where did I put that webcam? Ah, there you are. Good. Inventing wild new rides isn't for the faint of heart. Just you can see how serious it is decided to let you in on what I've been getting up to. Currently, I'm working on an incredible new fuel. Right now, it's a bit volatile, but once I perfect the formula, it'll be the cleanest, most efficient energy source the world has ever known. Do you realize the implications of such a substance? We won't have to refill the go-karts as much! Oops, that was close! Do you see the importance of experience? I just avoided disaster! <laughs> Maybe you can help out at Thrillville while I try to find the rest of my eyebrows. <laughs> Go get yourself ready! Hey, a dime! Right here, we are in the character selection screen. Let's see, who do I want to choose? Maybe Harry? Probably not Thomas, because I don't like wearing the hats very much. Don? Probably not. Let's see, Oliver? No, I don't like the long sleeves as much. Jim? No. Let's just go with Harry. And let's customize our character as well. Let's see here, what kind of hairstyle do I want? Go with that hairstyle, you get too much, but not much hair customization in this game. Let me see here. I'm gonna go for more of the short sleeves. Too short of sleeves. Let's see what else they have. There you go, that's good. I don't like long sleeves, but that's probably the best option. Right there, but I actually would like. And let's see what else they have. Put a pants. Oh, got the shorts as well. Change that up. To a gray. Let's edit his name. As Silver. There we are. There we are, and, let, and let's get into the vid. Are you sure you're happy with, her, with your character appearance? Yes, I am. Let's get into it. You made it! Now, before you dive in, let's talk about what it takes to manage Thrillville. You'll have five ongoing ghosts while you manage your park. Building rides, playing games, talking to guests, training staff, and managing the business. I've set up stations right here by the park entrance that will tell you about each one. Just walk right over to any column of light and we can get started. Alright, like Uncle Mortimer just told us, which is the in-game uncle of the actual character. This will be a few tutorial levels. 
dildo knows how to clean up. Let's see here. Start the upkeep tutorial. Thrill Build's upkeep requires consistent effort. Good thing you don't have to do it alone. That's what your staff are for. Mechanics help keep your ride reliability high. Groundskeepers keep the garbage under control. And entertainers cheer up the crowd. Staff will start working as soon as you hire them. But they'll do much better with training. And training at Thrillville is a hands-on situation. You'll help your staff get more efficient by pitching in and showing them how it's done. To hire, train, and fire staff, go to your manage menu and select staff. Let's start the first upkeep mission. All right, let's start it. Helping hand. And there are mini games in this, as you can as you can see, there will be plenty of mini games, plenty of mini games to come with this game as well. different controls for this. So R1 is for the vacuum part of it. L1 is for cleaning up and skills. You gotta get points for cleaning up all this stuff as well. I still consider great parts of it. There we go. Cleaned up. Well, first mini game, first mission. May not be five stars, but it's good enough for what it is. Complete the upkeep now before. you're starting to get it. Even the work at Thrillville is a game. And now you also see how important it is to take a direct hand in operating your park. Now then, make your way over to another column of light. I'll catch up with you there. Alright, let's head over to the next column of light, which will be the building one. Let's start the build tutorial. Now that you're in charge, one of the most important jobs is to build the rides and stalls in the park that meet the park guests' needs and make you the most money. Doesn't everybody like him like making money? These build zones are for carnival rides, games, and stalls. Let's take a look at the menu you use to place all those great attractions. This is your build menu. It'll show you each attraction that you can build for each section of the park, all in one simple area. Okay. All of the things you place in the park require power. This meter shows you how much power each section of your park has left. Pay attention to it. <laughs> you don't want to fry anything or put too much overload on anything else. You will have power problems. And there will be an electrician game as well with circuit boards which will be further into the game. This line will show you every type of carnival ride that's available right now, as well as anything you've yet to unlock. You'll find similar information in each section of this menu. All of these rides and games are great. Let's not forget roller coasters. And who doesn't love the ride roller coasters? In each park, you'll find six spots where you can start building coasters under a big sign saying coaster. Easy, huh? Sounds easy for you to see, Mortimer. To build a coaster, select coaster from the build menu or walk up to any coaster stand and take it from there. I'll be there to help. Let's start the first build mission. Let's start the first build mission is right. No space wasted. Let's start. Let's see here. Let's see, 
what kind of ride do I actually want to put in the park? Let's go with the Robo Spin. I'm not sure which way the entrance looks like the exit, so I'm just gonna put it right here. That was great! Building coasters and attractions is one of the best parts about being the manager of Thrillville. You get to create the park of your dreams. Okay, now head over to any other remaining column of life. We'll talk more when you get there. Okay, and I do like to build roller coasters in this game. Some may be crazy, some may be simple. Just to see how fast they can go, how high you can actually get them. And yeah, it's like roller coasters in general. But that's why I feel like playing Thrill Bill as well. Many of your jobs will involve playing games and riding the rides. Yes, I know it's tough being a park manager, but someone's got to do it. You can play it and ride every ride yourself by walking up to it and pressing the X button. You spot games in the park by looking for stalls with big rotating statues on the top. All roller coaster stations are marked with a big sign that says coaster. Just walk through any gate with that sign and you'll be in a coaster zone. Let's try the first games mission. Stay stage speedway. Do some racing. I like a lot of the racing mini games. As you can see, I do play Need for Speed on our channel. There is a playlist for Need for Speed Carbon on the channel. So if you'd like to watch that, that'll be on the channel. And let's get into racing. Controls are a little crazy, I think that. Very short track though. There we go, first place. Ranking first place in most races. If I had to be in second place so beat up at the hard enough track, then that'll happen. Just like some of my MX videos, it may not be car racing, but some of those tracks are actually very confusing. There we go, first place. That was not hard at all. There we go, five stars for racing. Why not? We completed the game tutorial. So, you get to have all the fun you want, and it's good for business. Now, that's what I call a win win situation. And winning three or more stars in any game earns you cash, which you can use to buy more fun stuff for your park. You can also play games with your friends whenever you want in party play mode. Check it out some other time when you're not managing the park. Just two more columns of light now. Pick either one and I'll meet you there. All right, let's see here. Which one should I choose? Guest or business? My room. Let's go for business. Is anyone else as hungry as me? Thrillville is in good shape when two things are healthy guest happiness and cash flow. Managing the big picture is easier if you keep an eye on your park stats. The manage menu gives you lots of useful information about your park. Okay. It also shows you ways to invest your cash, increase your research budget promote the park in a marketing campaign, or even take out a loan to increase your spending power. Use your cash to promote the park, hire staff, and build new rides. Charge the right prices, and your profits and park value will soar as your guests have fun. Keep checking back in your manage menu. 
Park statistics change all the time, and you'll need to keep your finger on the pulse to succeed. Let's start the first business mission. All right, the first business mission is research. Let's start some research on an ice cream stall. I don't know why it's the first thing, but whatever. Put a $300 budget on it. Well done! By using the manage menu, you'll be up to date on all the outgoings of your park, including the attractions you have yet to unlock. Can't wait to unlock more attractions so I can get more guests and more money. Who doesn't like to earn money? Over time, you'll be able to see how playing with the numbers can really turn your success. And just like how uh, theme park tickets are getting more expensive as they are. During the holidays, they do lower their price, but it's very rare. But if you enjoy the theme parks, I'd recommend going to Six Flags or Hershey Park. So I like going to those parks myself. I have not been to Bush Gardens. But eh, oh well. Alright, now make your way over to the last column of light. I'll join you when you get there. Let's do the last tutorial mission. The park guests are your bread and butter. As park manager, one of your jobs will be to get to know them. You can talk to any guest by approaching them and pressing the triangle button. If you pay attention to their interests as you talk, guests will become your friends and remember you each time you meet. So we can go to a theme park like more than once to get a seat and pass people are going to remember you. And what would a theme park be without love-struck teens? You can have some real fun and increase park happiness by helping teenagers flirt. Once convinced, the teen lets you take them over to go so sweetie. The guests you befriend will let you challenge them to games, give you lots of useful information, and are happier. And a happy park is a successful park. Now, let's do the first mission. And here, let's talk with this little kid, John Smith. Let's see what he has to say. What's going on? Don't hate me, but who are you again? I'm the new park manager. That's an awesome job! It's the coolest job in the world. What do you think about the park? It's great. How do you think the park could be improved? I got nothing for you. Brand new park. Of course, we don't have any opinions just yet. Have to build some roller coasters, build some games, get some food stalls, and probably have some more park recommendations. Where did you hear about the park? Some kids on my team were talking about it. Our coasters are superb. You should try them out. Yeah, they were okay. Our thrill rides are the best in the country. I've been on a few. They're really great. You seem like a really deep thinker. Ah, uh, really? Mortimer is most famous for his roller coasters, but his favorite ride is actually the merry-go-round. He's a man of many dimensions. The Knickers were the first baseball team to wear an official uniform in 1849. Baseball, America's favorite pastime. Of course, baseball, America's favorite pastime. It's been around since a long time. I don't know the exact date exactly, but it's been around for a long time. Who doesn't like to watch baseball? In 1452, King James II of Scotland banned golf as his subjects were playing it in preference to doing their archery practice. 
I guess it was a big issue of the time. The defense of the country was at stake. This guy's got some knowledge on him. The latest space probes are pushed by sunlight. They use solar sails, similar to how sailboats use wind on Earth. Hey, I want to be an astronaut. Have you had a go on our mini golf course? I heard that someone found sneaky shortcuts on some of the holes. I can play mini golf all day. The active player in the Indian sport of Kabaddi must chant the name of the sport repeatedly as he attempts to tag or capture his opponents to prove he has not taken a breath. Yes, it's a marvelous and rare combination of agility, muscular coordination, breath holding capacity, quick reflexes, and presence of mind. This kid is actually a brilliant kid. He knows what he's talking about. Probably research before he came to the park. A cheetah can run at up to 62 miles per hour, which is almost four times as fast as a domestic cat. It is actually pretty fast. Man. A nuisance to the animal. That's what they are. Have you tried the Event Horizon arcade game? It's a real blast. I tried it at another park. It was pretty good. The tremendous erosive force of the falls has moved Niagara Falls seven miles in the last 10,000 years. Wow, it comes to my man water. The sports stars of the Roman Empire were its gladiators. There are both female and male participants in this gory sport. And emperors took part to gain popularity with their people. I think they'd be big stars today, too. There are around one trillion stars in a typical galaxy, and around 50 billion galaxies in the cosmos. Whoa! Five billion trillion stars! You should check out the gentle rides. They're great fun. Yep, they're okay. A woodpecker can peck at up to 20 times per second. Yeah, do they keep attacking your head? I love eating out at good restaurants. I like to go out and see new places. When there's food there, that's fun too. You have a lot of skills for such a little kid. That's what I said before, he does have a lot of skills. A lot of knowledge on him too. Cool! In an early form in the 19th century, football was played on Bloody Mondays, so-called because of the brutality of the sport. Yes, it became imperative that protective clothing was adopted. Wow, you must have really strong thumbs from dominating at all the arcade games. Thanks! There we go. See? That was fun, wasn't it? Talking to people is going to tell you a whole lot about how well your park is doing. Congratulations, kid! You've taken your first steps to becoming a fantastic theme park manager. Just remember that everything in the park is related. The guests help you decide what rides to open. The rides will bring in cash, and the cash will help you buy things to keep the guests happy. You <laughs> get it? <laughs> Anytime you want to, just jump into the options menu and we can bring all of these great lessons back for a second run through. Okay, you have fun. I've got mad scientist stuff to do. May the G-Force be with you. <laughs> what a nice Star Wars reference, I like it. Great, just great. Missions. And with that, I am going to leave this episode here. And if you guys would like to see some more Thrillville, Press that like button, and if you are new to the channel, subscribe for more gameplay content.